Hey guys, it's Lisa from Lisa's Busy Nerding. I'm here to shoot a video to show you the new image library for Cricut Design Space 2.0. There's a couple of features I'd like to highlight for you, things you can look forward to and things that make crafting with your Cricut Explore and your Cricut Explore Air that much easier. So, just like before, the basic options for inserting images are over here. If you click Insert Image, this is from a previous video. Okay, if you click Insert Image, it will bring you to the Vast Image Library. You can see there's over 50,000 images, and it's definitely sorted differently than it was before. The first thing you'll notice is it's screen edge to screen edge. The whole thing is filled. There's a variety of different popular options that it will bring to you. It's close to Valentine's Day when I'm shooting this video, so there's obviously some of these different um, kind of whimsical um, sweet things that it's suggesting. It's also February, so it's showing February and March. Thinking I might like to make one of those things. Um, so yeah, there's just a bunch of different options here. You can see if mm, the images cost money to make, that will be right here. If they are free, it will say free. If they are part of the subscription library for the Cricut um, subscription service, it will say subscribed right in that corner over there. You can also search by category, and this is a new feature that they've put in Cricut Design Space 2.0, which is very exciting and um, really thorough, and I really appreciate that. If you have different brands that you really like, like you have a Disney-themed party coming up, or there are different designers that you just really like their stuff, like Anna Griffin, I know she's a very popular designer, you can click on her, and her... Um, different image libraries will come up here. If you have these cartridges, they and they're registered to your Cricut Explore Air in the design space, it will show as subscribed here. I do not have any cartridges outside of the Cricut Design Library, so unless I'm subscribed to the design library, I it will not be something that I have. So these are all of Anna Griffin's images here. You can see those, or if you decide you don't want to look at that anymore, it just brings you right back here. So there are different, again, lots of different categories you can check out. And there's also the recently added, which is fun, just to kind of see what's the latest and greatest here. I know Cricut does a really nice job of sending emails to say there's a new cartridge coming to the um, to the library that you should check out, or just new cartridges in general to check out, and sometimes we see those and sometimes we don't, so this is a nice way to kind of keep on top of what is new to the design space library and all of that stuff. So you can see here, so a bunch of these things. Let's say that you decide you want to make a Mother's Day card. So you would see, hey, there's Mother's Day here. I'll click on this. And then you see there's all these pretty little designs and phrases and stuff. And then you say, how cute is this little heart? I wish that I could find more hearts like this guy. So if you hit info, you could see it says create a critter is the cartridge that he comes from. So I click on that and it brings me to all of the images from that set. So now I can have coordinating images to go on a card for Mother's Day. I can put a cupcake with that heart. I can put flowers with that heart. I can put a little bag with a heart with this heart. Any of those things and to know that they are of the same theme and design so I know that they will for sure fit together which is a really nice feature as well. Okay, bringing it back to this um, All Images screen here, there are lots of different ways to search through the images. You can see that you can just look through all images. If you know that you want to make a birthday card, you can just type in birthday and see what pops up. If you want to do a get well card, you can do that. If you're looking for different themes, you can do that there. If you're looking for category inspiration, you can do that here, as I've already explained. Or you can look through specific cartridges. So these are things that um, maybe someone says to you they made a card using a Cricut Explore Air or they used Expression or some other sort of Cricut um, cutting machine and you asked what cartridge they used and they told you what cartridge it was. So then you can come and see the different patterns and 
designs in that cartridge, which is really cool. I know I just saw someone on Split Coast Stampers asking about the 50 States cartridge um, because she wanted all the images in that cartridge. As you can see, I can buy the digital cartridge for $30 and then I have it forever and ever and ever, which is wonderful. I also have access to this cartridge because I am subscribed with the Cricut Design Space subscription. So that is just included with my stuff here. And then if I decide I want to go and see all the images in this set because something has caught my eye, I can do that and it pulls it right up. So as you can see, the Cricut Design Space image library has really improved with Cricut Design Space 2.0. The ability to browse is a lot easier. It's quicker. I mean, this is not some special version I'm using. This is the Cricut Design Space 2.0 that is live right now. This is absolutely how snappy and responsive it is. It's easy to look through cartridges, categories, and all images. It's easy to see if it's something you're subscribed to, if it's something you have to pay for, or if it's just a free image altogether. And it's absolutely easy to find coordinating images for different projects as well. I think that the improvements in Design Space 2.0 are incredible, and that is definitely seen in the improved and streamlined image library. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting!